For this question, we are going to form an equation in a linear form and find the unknowns of P and of Q by comparing our new equation and the given equation. So let's begin by looking at the formula of gradient of a straight line where the gradient can be found by having the change in y divided by the change in x. Since the vertical axis is now a y square instead of the usual y, we need to replace it to be a y square. With the coordinates to be a 25 comma 1, let's also change the y1 to be 1. Similarly, as the horizontal axis is now an x square instead of the usual x, we will have to replace it with an x square. Likewise, x1 is now 25. With a gradient of 1 over 15, we will be able to form this equation. Doing a cross multiplication, we will have x squared minus 25 on the left and 15y squared minus 15 on the right. Simplifying the constants to the right, we will have x squared to be equal to 10 plus 15y squared. Now, if we compare the constants in our equation and the given one in the question, it's not the same. So let's divide the equation by 10. We have this equation of x squared over 10 to be equal to 1 plus 3y squared over 2, and now our constants are the same. Finally, we can do a comparison of coefficient of x squared to get p squared to be equal to 10, and p will therefore be plus minus square root of 10. Similarly, comparing coefficient of y squared to get q squared to be equal to 2, and q will therefore be plus minus square root of 2. And here, we have the answer for part 1 in this question. Replacing P and Q from answer found earlier, we will have this equation. Let's replace Y to be a square root of 2 over 5 given in the question. We will find that X squared is now 16. Solving for X will give us a plus minus of 4. And that's the answer for this question. Did you manage to get it right? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something again and see you in the next episode of Practical Math.